lot of these key opportunists that tend to promote type 2 inflammation also tend to be related to digestive dysfunction. Streptococcus, staphylococcus, and enterococcus have been widely known to be elevated in patients who have suppressed stomach acid, particularly in the case of PPI users, proton pump inhibitor users. So these are the results or the conclusions from this systematic review of 19 eligible studies, and they found consistently that these types of microbes that you'll see at the top of page three tend to be commonly overgrown in patients that have reduced stomach acid. And that is something we do often see on GI map. And that can be one of the upstream root causes or contributors to this type of dysbiosis that then may go on to promote these inflammatory allergic type reactions. H. pylori, among many other things that it can do, is known to potentially suppress stomach acid, as I mentioned, when it's elevated. Candida, we often do see elevated in patients with reduced digestion. So that may be, again, a root cause of candida overgrowth. And then we can see that actually blastocystis also can be elevated commonly in patients that have reduced digestion. That's just one of the common patterns that we see associated with this digestive dysfunction pattern. Obviously, in some patients, you'll see a lack of elastase indicating reduced pancreatic enzyme production. So that's a fairly common feature that we see in many patients, especially with food reactions and food allergies. 